Oh, my anime is ending, man. I'm not, no. I'm tired of this, man. Like, you know, this is the one thing I hate so much about each anime season, like, when it ends. All my damn good anime ends. It all ends at fucking once, and I'm just sitting here with a big black hole after it all ends, and I'm like, fuck, I have nothing. It's gone. Like, seriously, I always feel like this after an anime season is coming to an end, and I had that feeling after finishing Yamada just now and Sidonia. Fuck, dude. It makes me so upset. Like, everything must come to an end. All good things and all bad things must eventually come to an end, but... Fuck, dude, like, there's just, it's, it all ends at once, like, there's just so many good things that are just ending these past couple days, it's really affecting me, because damn it, dude, I love a lot of these series, I've loved this season, I love Yamada, it's such a freaking good series, regardless if it's rushed or not, I'm gonna miss this damn anime. This was so fun and entertaining as an anime, I... I will miss this so damn much. And I am reading the manga. I am definitely reading the manga. Just to clarify, I'm going to read the manga. Because I really like the concept of Yamada and the Seven Witches. It, it's such a good concept. I love it. I love the concept of the series. I like the characters. I like Shiraishi. I like, you know, Yamada. I, I like all our characters. I, let, let's be frank here. I, I like all our characters. I don't think there's really any character I dislike besides the student council president and, you know, the memory loss girl that erases everybody's memories. So, yeah. Besides that, I mean... I love this anime. It was a great way to get me into the series where I could actually start reading the manga. I'm definitely going to start from chapter one of the manga and try to see, you know, how it is. I've already read actually far into, you know, Yamada. I've already been reading from chapter one into Yamada. I think I'm around chapter 20 something right now. I'm in the 20s. And so I will have to, you know, continue reading from where I left off to see how it goes because I really like the series and I do want to continue reading the manga and reviewing the manga when I finally catch up because... This was a great ride. It was an unexpected gem of this season. Definitely an unexpected gem. I did not expect to be this damn good. I was going to skip this series. Like, I was straight up going to skip this series when I first saw it. Or before I saw it, I was going to skip the series. Because I saw the description on my anime list. I looked at it. I mean, I looked at the cover. It seemed like it was going to be something that was just going to be a harem and slice life with some supernatural. That's probably going to be fan service exquisite. It was just something that I just didn't have a lot of interest in. Because I see a lot of that type of stuff all the time. And I was going to skip Yamada. I really was going to skip Yamada. And I I'm glad I decided to really sit down and give this series a chance. Because it was definitely... A series I'm glad I didn't miss from this anime season. I'm really happy I did not miss Yamada and the Seven Witches. And definitely in my top five from this anime season. It, it, it hands down. Top five of my anime season from this season of spring. Because even though, like I said, it had its issues. I know it's rushed. It's obvious to tell it's rushed. It, it really is fucking obvious to tell it's rushed. It still entertained me as a watcher. And to entertain me enough. To where I am this invested where I want to read the manga. I think the anime did its job. I, I, I want to read the manga just to continue. And that means it did its job. So the anime and the, the part of actually getting more people to jump onto the manga. I think it did its job. Now talking about this you know, final episode. There is a couple things I do want to talk about. I'm curious. Was this conclusion with Yamada wishing for everybody's powers to disappear. Did this happen? in the manga like did this happen or is this like an anime original ending because like i said i know this is rush i know they tried to compress like a hundred something chapters into 12 episodes which is fucking ridiculous i like that's worse than ties eye like god that's worse than ties eye it just did that happen like did that happen like with yamada wishing with the witches to have everybody's powers disappear like if that happened please let me know if that did not happen if it was anime original also let me know i'm just curious because if it is, I wonder how the series continues after this point. Don't spoil me if they do lose their powers. I just wonder how they're going to continue the series after that point. Because the entire concept of the series kind of focuses around the abilities. And if this is anime original, like, let, let, I'm going under, under the assumption that this is anime original, judging by the way it was done. But it is anime original, I'm guessing this is kind of hints at how Yamada and the Seven Witches might end. It's probably some form of way this mi series might end in the manga, because, I mean, as we know, the powers, the witch powers, are kind of representing, you know, their wishes and what they wanted, or, you know, their strive, or, you know, what they have suffered through throughout their life in high school, and that's kind of what these powers kind of represent. 
And so with that, with the powers going away, it's like they don't need them and they have progressed past that point where they don't no longer need powers and they became better as people and they've become to accept their past and future. That's kind of what that actually means at the end of this. And I, I like that. It's a very beautiful ending, and it kind of hints that Shidaishi and Yamada get together, so there's not really any complaints there. So if you ship those two from the very beginning, which you should ship, because it's obvious those two are going to get together, they kind of became official couple at the end of this episode. So, fucking happy. I'm, I'm fucking happy. I don't know if we're ever going to get a season two or not, because, the, you know, how fucking rushed this was. But... Regardless, we never get a season two. I'm actually satisfied with this ending. I mean, if I was never to see any more content of Yamada, let, let's just put it this way. If I was to never see any more manga, like if I was never to read the manga and catch up or whatever, if I was never to see another episode or anime episode or another season of Yamada, I think I would actually be very satisfied with this conclusion for different reasons. The reason why is they settled the overall plot point, like some of the major issues that the series started. For instance, Yamada managed to make friends, he managed to have a high school life, he managed to meet someone he loved, Shiraishi, he managed to move up into school where everybody cares for him, he managed to make a group of friends, and then all the witches, you know, don't need their powers no longer. So overall, the in-game goals that set up from the beginning were kind of concluded in this episode. So I could actually feel satisfied with the way this episode ended off, even if I had no more content to actually look forward to. So that's my point there. Overall, if I had to rate... Yamada and the Seven Witches, I'd give it a straight up solid 7 out of 10, even though it's that I had a lot more entertainment that's worthy of a higher note than ranking, but it was still one of the best of this anime season just to me because it was entertaining as fuck. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below, you all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live, please be safe, Chibi out.